In all my presets and many of the other presets you'll see in Betaflight, there's this option for dynamic idle. But what is dynamic idle and why is it a prop wash performance booster in my experience? If you do select dynamic idle in your motors tab, what that's going to do is enable bi-directional D-Shot. Bi-directional D-Shot allows Betaflight to read what the RPM is of each motor. And you will also notice down here that where this used to say idle speed, it now says dynamic idle is active at 3,500 RPMs and to see the PID tuning tab. So this value here, this 5.5, uh, no longer is being used at all. And if we go into the PID tuning tab and just browse down a little bit here, you can see this 35 value here times 100 is 3,500 RPMs. And with that value, Betaflight is essentially setting the minimum RPM of the motors versus the 5.5% out of 100. So without dynamic idle, Betaflight sits the minimum RPM of the motors based on a percentage of 100. So that's basically how BL Heli commands or Betaflight commands motor thrust in general. It's either 0% motor rotation or 100%, which the maximum speed of your motor's rotation is based on the KV and the voltage you're feeding the motors. And again, the default for idle speed is 5.5% of 100% speed. So it's 5.5 which will result in some arbitrary RPM, again, based on the voltage you're feeding it and the KV of your motor. But with dynamic idle, we get a little bit smarter. And since Betaflight can detect and read the, motion, the RPM of the motors, you can just set the RPM, the minimum RPM that the motors are gonna spin. So it begs the question, why does that matter? If it was working fine before, what's so great about dynamic idle and how does it help with prop wash performance? When a prop wash condition, Betaflight is commanding a lot of different changes to the motors. It's commanding them to speed up, it's commanding them to slow down, and it's doing it very, very fast. Anywhere between 40 to 80 times a second, it is commanding the motors to ramp up and slow down as fast as they can. When your D-shot idle percentage is 5.5, that means that it cannot command them to go to zero all the way down to zero. It can only command the motors to go from whatever percent speed that it's previously commanded them down to the 5.5%. And the amount of braking torque that BL Heli will apply is that gap, is that basically that difference from whatever the motors are currently spinning down to the 5.5%. But with dynamic idle, and when that is enabled, then it can command from whatever RPM the motors are currently at down to 0% RPM. So it frees up that little bit of range, that 5.5%. So it essentially increases your braking torque of your motors by 5.5% for free. And that little bit can have a little bit of difference in prop wash performance. Obviously, if you're enabling dynamic idle on quads that had a little bit higher of an idle speed, maybe it was six, 7%, 8%, then again, dynamic idle is gonna even give that a little bit more increase in prop wash performance. So check it out. That's what dynamic idle does. Is it gonna be the end all be all for the best prop wash performance? No. And I'll make a link to a video in the upper left here for the number one way to increase your prop wash performance. But after doing the stuff in that video, enabling dynamic idle will just give you that little bit more edge to uh, zhuzh out that last little bit of prop wash.